Last week, there's two things I, I want to deal with, and uh, I guess I love it. There's two things I want to deal with. Uh, I want to deal with what's been talked about among Christians, and that's about prosperity. Amen. Mm -hmm. About prosperity, it's, it's been it's been a conversation that's been going on about prosperity, about God's desire uh, for one to prosper. Is is this something that we should talk about in the church? And, uh, the other thing I want to deal with is what I heard on last Sunday evening. My cousin preached about. Uh, he talked about. Reset. Amen. I talked about reset. I want to blend it together. Uh, he dealt with reset. That uh, that no matter what you're going through, Amen. Uh, uh, if you are a child of God, you can start all over again. Uh, I, I thought I would I would bring that up. It's very important for us Amen. to understand that uh, uh, we we can press the reset button that we can, no matter what stage we are uh, at, no matter what place in life we are at, uh, we can press the reset button. And he said something also interesting. He said, he said uh, there's a, in, in, in the um, mall, uh, when you look for direction, uh, there's a directory that tell you where every store is. Isn't that right? Amen. It, it's, it's, it, it has it has it's, it has categories. It says for food, it shows you where the restaurants are. It shows you where uh, the uh, men stores can be found. Well, it shows you where uh, the shoe departments are found. But but it will not help you to know where you want to go if you don't know where you are. Amen. And so uh, there, 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 there's always an arrow that points to where you are and it says you are here. Isn't that right? And, and so we want to talk about uh, Resetting, and we want to talk about prosperity, but we cannot get there until we understand where we are right now. Amen. Amen. Did, did, did y'all get that? You got to understand. You got to know where you are right now. A lot of people are lost because they are deceiving themselves, uh -huh. and they're trying to act like there's something that they're really not. Are y'all with me? S somebody, some people try to act like there's something that they really are not. Amen. You got to know where you are right now. In order for you to get where God wants to take you, you got to understand the, the state of mind and the situation that you're living in right now. Amen. 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 Uh, that's why Michael Jackson wrote that song, the late Michael Jackson wrote that song, uh, The Man in the Mirror. <laughs> Amen. He, he, he was emphasizing the fact that uh, you need to take a look at the man in the mirror. And when you, when you take a look at that man that's in the mirror, then you know who or where you are. Uh -huh. Amen. For the mirror reflects uh, what it, what, what's standing before it. Help me in this house. The mirror reflects what stands before it. And now I can't help you if you don't you don't like what's in that mirror. It is what it is. Amen. But but many of us need to stand and look uh, at that person in the mirror, and then once we dissect 
And once we reflect, then we'll know where we are in life. Yes. And then God can take us where He wants us to go. All right. Yes. Hammers and all. Um, let's 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 look at let's look at Proverbs real quick. The um, the eighth chapter. Amen. I got to move. I got to move. The eighth chapter of Proverbs. Amen. When you get it, say amen. amen. And let's look at the um, uh, 21st verse. It says, the 21st verse, that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance, and I will fill their treasure. Did y'all see that? Amen. All right. Let, 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 let's, he, he says again that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance. Uh -huh. All right. I, I, I will cause those that love me to inherit substance. Well, let, let, let's 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 start let's start uh, at the beginning. He, he says in the beginning that I may cause that I may cause not you. Not, not, not your ability, but, but that I may cause uh -huh. you to inherit. I may. God is in control yeah, yeah. of me. Yeah, yeah. How about you? If, if, if you can repeat that, if you can say that, then say it with me. Say, God, God. is in control, in control of me. Of me. Okay. See, that, that God cannot use me. God cannot take me from where I am until I have accepted the fact and have surrendered to him to the point where I can say God yeah. is in control of me. Yes. Amen. He controls my footsteps. Yes. He controls my thoughts. He controls uh, my, 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 my desire. God is in control. See, see, I, I discovered in my living that every time I try to take control of me, I mess me up. Amen. Are y'all with me? Amen. I say it again. I'm walking now. I said every time I try to take control of me, I mess me up. Every time I try to take control of my situations, I mess my situations up. Now maybe it's not maybe not you, but I'm talking about me. I'm talking about me. I'm not talking about I know y'all out there, y'all perfect, you intelligent and you're perfect, but I'm I make some bloomers. I made some boomers. Bloomers, boomers, doomer. I have told I have told it. I messed up, boy. Amen. If I could if, if I could whip me, I, I would whip me. <laughs> Amen. I, so, so, sometimes uh, the things I have taken control of have messed up so bad until if I could put myself on punishment, I would say like my daddy, you on punishment. Go to your bedroom. <laughs> Amen. Don't come out. <laughs> Amen. You can, and my fact, she's gonna bring your food upstairs. Don't come out. Amen. But 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 once you have decided that God, according to the scriptures, look at it again. He says, He says here, that I may cause those that love me, that I may be, when he says cause, he means that I that, that I may be in control, that I may be the one that order, that I may be the one that direct, that I may be, and that's what God wants. God wants to control you. That's, it, that's just it. And let me tell you this. Somebody's going to control you. Amen. 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 Some, somebody's in control. Yes. Amen. The, 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 the man that, uh, the man that, uh, uh, that walks down the street and, and hijack, you, you take your car. Somebody was in control of that boy's thoughts. Amen. Amen. That, that, that would come, come in his the same neighborhood he lives in, he goes to the gas station down the street from his house and hijacks somebody and take their car. 
Number one, I always say, if you don't hide, anybody you hijack in the hood, you know they ain't putting no more than how much gas it takes to last them to get to, get back home, and maybe go to work tomorrow. So how far are you going to drive anyhow? Amen. Somebody's in control. Amen. When, 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 when I see children, when I did watch, you know what I mean? I, I, I look at my Facebook and, and, and I watch how, uh, you know, when we was coming up, we would fist fight, we'd have a good time. But, but my God, you can't even have a get together without some fool start shooting. Now, I, I, have to, I have to delete this off of the, off of the, the, the tape, but, but, but it's bad when Negroes are scared of Negroes. Amen. Hey I'm talking about, you know, it's one thing for the white man to be scared of the black man, but it's another thing when the black man is scared of the black man. Amen. Hey man, it's one thing for them, the white man, to come into the neighborhood. I can't say come into our neighborhood because they, they, they in Detroit. They live here now. But once upon a time, they come and walk in the gas, walk in the gas station or the store. They be looking around, trying to hold their purse. Now you got black people looking around, trying to hold their purse. From the other black man. Amen. Why? Because somebody is in control. God said, I want to cause. I want to be in control. Uh -huh. Amen. That's what television is all about. Don't y'all know that these commercials is all about controlling your thoughts? Y'all do know that, don't you? Amen. I mean, you, you, it, it tells you, it tells you, now, now if, if they're not trying to control your thoughts, why would they say to you, buy this pill, it will help you to grow hair. By the way, uh, and you might lose a toe and the teeth might fall out and every commercial, you know, buy this medicine and it'll make your eyes better. By the way, it'll make your ears plug up and It'll make your feet fall off. Man. Constantly, constantly selling us medicine. The, 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 the pharmacists, the doctors, the hospitals are constantly trying to put in our minds that we're sick, that we're ill, and that we need medicine. Then somebody's trying to control your mind. All right. God says, let me move on. He says, he says it right here. He says, he says. I got a lot of scriptures, y'all. He said, that I may cause those that love me, that I may cause those that love me. Amen. A ask the person next to you, ask them, do you love God? Yeah. All right, so the first point is God wants to be in control. The second thing is, he says, that I may cause those that love me. Before we can go and finish that whole scripture, we have to decide if we love God. Amen. Listen, look, look at me, look at me. Before we can go any further, we must decide if we really love God. Because I've discovered that church people lip it, but they don't mean it. All right. And then they have the nerve in church to say, what does love have to do with it? See, because love is not a word. Love is action. Word never runs from. Love, love runs to. That's right. Come on now. If, if, you, if you love me, I don't care how mad you are, you won't leave me. He says here, I will cause those that love me. Not, not love me. There, there's, there's different kinds of love. There's a love that you have for, for, for mama and daddy. There's a love that you have for uh, 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 sisters and brothers. There's a love that you have for friends. There's a love that you have for girlfriend or boyfriend. There's a type of different, there all these are different kinds of love. There's a different kind of love that you have for your wife or for your husband. But then there's an altogether different kind of love that you have for God. Amen. Amen. You, 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 yeah, I know you truly love that husband. I know you truly love that wife. I know you truly love that sister. I know you truly love that brother. I know you love them. Amen. I 
know you love me. Jesus says, I, I, I wouldn't take it to the scripture. He All said, right. if, you, if you love mother, father more than me, then you really don't love me. Amen. Love, love to God is Lord. I surrender all. Not half, not some, but all of me. Yes, yes. That's love. Love, 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 love to God is when I it was like this morning. I, I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to come to church. I really didn't want to come to church. I woke up at nine. As a matter of fact, I, I was up late, and I, 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 I started yesterday not wanting to come to church. X, 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 chats. I told us. I sure don't feel like preaching. I sure don't feel like going. Amen. Amen. But my love for God says no matter. It is not about me. Somebody said it's not about me. It's about God. It, it's not about how I feel. It's not about where I want to be. It's not about where I want to go. It's about God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Do you really love him? Yes. yes Lord. Amen. When you love God, it's all about. See, I love God so much until I can I can't I can tie. I give God 10% because I love him and I realize it's his anyway. Yeah. All right. Because, okay, let's talk about this, this, this prosperity thing. Look at the rest of that verse. It says that I cause those that love me to inherit substance. You see that? That stuff. God wants us to prosper. Amen. Are y'all with me? Amen. God, God does not want us. He, he, he could not be. Let me show you something uh, that people always mess up. Go to, go to 3rd John. That's the letter. That's near Revelations. Let me share something with you. That people quote the scripture. Kind of mess it up. Amen. Come on, Holy Spirit. Yeah, I'm there. You ought to be there. Also, second verse. Love, I wish above all things that thou may prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prosper. God wants us to prosper two, two ways. First of all, he wants us to prosper physically. He wants us to prosper physically. They, they take this scripture and they use it uh, 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 in the contents of of, 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 of prospering uh, financially, prospering, but, but God wants us first to prosper physically. All right, all right. You know why, John? Because if you ain't physically healthy, then money ain't gonna do you no good. That's right, that's right. Are y'all with me? Amen. If, if you are not taking care of your body, you can't prosper physically. You can't be healthy if you don't. And I'm, I'm guilty. I'm guilty. I'm guilty. I'm, I'm so guilty, y'all. Amen. I'm so guilty. I'm, 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 I'm small because I don't eat. Amen. I don't eat. But some days, I forget to eat. And my daughter calls me, and she got to the point where my daughter calls me all the time. Daddy, have you eaten? Daddy, have you eaten? She told me the other day, she said, you're going to eat, you just wither away. Amen. But you cannot prosper financially until you learn how to take care of your body. That's right. Now, I know, again, I, hey, hey, I ribs. Pork chops, chopped pork, amen. It all belongs to God, but you got to do some things with what? What's the word? You got to do some things in, in moderation. Amen. He says, he says, I want you to learn how to take care of yourself. Learn how to, how, how to take care of your body. Learn how to eat. Then 
some of y'all eat too much. Amen. Some of y'all need to lose some weight. Some of y'all need to. Amen. Some of y'all. Some of y'all need to look in the mirror and and see that you know uh, because being overweight can can cause uh, a lot of sickness. Come on, now y'all got quiet. I'm, did I lose y'all over here? Yeah, I lost some of y'all. Uh, now he's talking about my weight. Nah, I ain't talking about y'all. He's talking about the Bible. I'm not even the Bible says, I wish above all things, look at it, read it, that you would prosper and be in good health. That's what it says. Isn't it? Is that what they wrote? Beloved, I wish above all things that thou may prosper and be in, 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 and be in health. Amen. That, that's what it says. That's, that's what it says. And, and if you are overweight, then you can you can cause certain disease to creep in your body. Amen. Amen. Again, money won't help you if you're flat on your back. Amen. Amen. There's some diseases that, that money just can't help. Amen. Amen. And so he says he talks about prosperity here. Uh, he, he goes on. Go back. Go back. Go back to Proverbs. I want to go back there. Proverbs 8 and 21. He says, he says that, that, that love me to inherit substance and I will fill their treasure. I will fill their treasure. God, go to, go to Job. God, go to Job 36. God wants us. I, I asked the question. I said, Lord, when I, when, when I was praying about this, this sermon, I said, Lord, you know, because I, I, I'm not a prosperity preacher. He said, yes, you are. He said, because I can't, I can't take the church to the next level on an amen and a thank you, Jesus. All right. He said, so I, I, I've got to teach. He, this is what the Holy Spirit said to me. I've got to teach my people how to inherit the, the treasures that I have for them. You, you, you read it? You read it? Didn't you read it? It says, I will cause, uh, I, I told you to go to Job, but I, I will repeat uh, Proverbs 8, 21, uh, 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 to those that love me to inherit uh, substance and I will fill their treasury. So I, I'll fill their treasury. I, they love the word treasury means in, in, in today's language, their bank account. Their bank account. Why, Lord? Because I, I, I want to take, I, I told you, buildings don't get rich. All right. Buildings do not prosper. People do. Amen. And if your mind is stuck where you are, then you will be where you are. If you only know how to count dollar bills, you'll never have hundred dollar bills. And any Christian that is satisfied being here, something wrong. I didn't say you wasn't a Christian. I just said something wrong. You ain't reading the Bible. You ain't you, you ain't reading the Bible. I mean, Jesus. If you ever look at the life of Jesus. Jesus hung around people that had things going on. Jesus did not. I try to tell the young preacher. I tell people all the time. Jesus did not hang around broke people. Peter owned his own business. He was an entrepreneur. Read it. He was. He had a fishing company. James and John, daddy, owned a fishing company. Right. Read it. It says when they met Jesus, they left their dad and followed Jesus. Now, evidently, they, it was two boys. They didn't just up and leave their daddy by himself. His daddy had a company. Their daddy had a company. He had other men working for him. Come on now. Jesus was a carpenter. Do y'all know your Bible? <laughs> Matthews was a tax collector. Uh -huh. Do y'all know your Bible? Yeah. 
You know who wrote the book of Luke? A doctor. Luke was a physician. Do y'all know y'all Bible? I'm serious. Y'all just looking at me like I'm a pork chop. <laughs> Paul, the writer of half the New Testament, spoke seven languages. And he was a tent maker. He was a scholar and a tent maker. My time is almost up. I told you to go to Job, Job 36. 11. This is the key to prosperity, he says to you. If they, y'all see it? It says, if they obey and serve him, they shall, yeah, 36, Job 36, 11. Job 36, 11. If they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in in what? Pleasures. But the key is, it says, if they what? First word is obey. First word is obey. Uh, Amen. Amen. We, 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 we want something from God, but we... GNC Barbershop, right here on Grand River and Vicksburg. This is my spot. This come down to this place where it is comfortable, it is pleasing. You don't have to worry about uh, guys coming in and out being high. This is the barbershop for you. And not only does my favorite barber, uh, Grady, take care of my hair, but he wants to take care of your hair. This place got it all. Uh, if you look around, it's very comfortable. It's very pleasing. It's, it's a place where you can feel safe. Uh, we have young people as well as older people in here. The music is nice. And then also you can get your shoes shine. Oh yeah, I'm calling all of the church people and the party people to come out here and get your shoes shine. They also uh, can sell you some clothes. Uh, he's also great. He's also part of the sock ministry. And so right here at uh, Grady's Barbershop, that's GNC on Vicksburg and Grand River. I want you to be a part of being at a place where you can be comfortable as you get your hair done, as he cuts your hair and give you a style that no other can give you. Again, this is Pastor Roland A. Caldwell at my barbershop, GNC on Grand River and Vicksburg. I want to see you here. Until tomorrow, if you walk with God, you shall reach your destination. I'm calling all of the church people and the party people to come out here and get your Hi, I'm Reverend Dr. Clifton Davis. I'm proud to know Reverend Roland Caldwell and to be a part of his ministry at Burnett Baptist Church. It's great visiting here. God stops by. Everybody, this is your girl Vicky Winans, and you're watching Bell Global Network. My name is Mike Duggan, and I'm watching the Bell Global Network. Hey, keep it locked. It's your boy D. Hattie watching the Bell Global Network. You know how it is. Hi, I'm Charlie Langton, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, this is Martha Reeves, and you're watching Bell Global Network.